Good afternoon and good evening, everyone. From Jamaica, Ben McMillan, Bart Comstock reporting for Weather Nation. This is your Facebook Live update of Hurricane Matthew, Category 4 Hurricane Matthew, as it moves up towards the island here. We're looking out over the bay here, here in Kingston, and you can see it's pretty clear over there near downtown. That's the downtown skyline of Kingston on Kingston Bay here, and you are looking at the waterfront. However, as I just showed you, there is a very large squall that is approaching the city from the south here. Category 4 Hurricane Matthew is currently to our south-southeast, about 270 miles out over the Caribbean Sea, and we have these bands that rotate around the storm, and one of them is moving in over the sea right now. We're going to take you in and show you some of the wave action as these larger squalls push up the sea and create these large waves of probably 8 to 10 feet, we're estimating in size. Now this large area of rocks here you see in front of us is the seawall. This was built by the city of Kingston to protect the bay and this highway, which is the only way to and from the international airport from hurricane situations and tropical storm situations just like this. So myself and photographer Bart Comstock are gonna go up here on the rocks here. And that's it. That is the Caribbean Sea there. You can see some of those larger squalls coming in across the water and the wind is beginning to pick up as well and Bart do you want to give a quick analysis of what you're seeing as well yeah at the moment right now you're looking at a at the moment right now you're looking at a, another rain band coming in um, the winds are picking up considerably and I imagine we may get some tropical storm force gusts out of this as it moves over us um, I'm trying to get some shots of it right now before we get the wind-driven rain blowing off the ocean at me. So, uh... There's a really big wave about to crash right here. Yeah. yeah I think we're about to feel the water for the rain any second now. So you're looking at some very angry seas here as these waves begin to crash. This is the seawall protecting the main road, the main highway that goes to Kingston International Airport. Kingston is a city of one million people, so it's very important they keep this road open. You can see the headlights from the vehicles on the road there, and then you can see the, see the ocean there. So it's not a lot of room between the seawall here and all this water. They're expecting a storm surge right now of three to five feet, so that could be enough to potentially topple this first mound of dirt. And then the big question would be, will the rocks be strong enough to keep the hurricane surge off the waterfront here and into the bay? If you're just joining us, you're watching Weather Nation's live Facebook coverage of Category 4 Hurricane Matthew. It is currently about 270 miles to the south-southeast of Kingston, Jamaica. And you're watching the squalls coming in off the ocean right now as we speak. So we're going to go ahead and get down here. We're starting to see some of those stronger winds hit us here on top of the seawall. So bear with us as we go back down to the uh, sea or the bay area where it's a little bit drier. Current statistics from the hurricane is what we're looking at is a wind field of about 205 miles of tropical storm force winds and 335 three 35 of hurricane force. There are some emergency vehicles driving along the uh, peninsula here. You can see them approaching as the squall forms.
So that's the latest right now from Jamaica. Our, our phone's starting to get a little bit wet, so we're going to go ahead and end this live broadcast right now. But uh, thank you for watching. One last look at the squalls here coming in off of the Caribbean Sea onto the south shores of Jamaica. You can just see how powerful they are. And that visibility being restricted is from the strong winds that are starting to blow right through this area right now on the leading edge of these squalls. If you do live in the Puerto Rico, or excuse me, the Jamaica area, or, or Puerto Rico, or any of the areas down here, tune into Digicel. That's the cable network we're being told in this area that will carry Weather Nation. As well as on the mobile app, if you have it on your phone, you can watch our, our live stream, DirecTV, Dish Network, Roku, Apple TV, all of those different sources will be great ways to get information and updates on the hurricane throughout the next few days. So thanks for joining us on our live Facebook broadcast. One last look out over the bay here. And that squall is slowly making its way towards the city here. So we'll probably see some pretty adverse conditions here in the next few hours. Stay tuned to Weather Nation's Facebook and all of our media platforms for the latest. And we appreciate you tuning in. And most importantly, please keep the folks here in Jamaica in your thoughts as this dangerous hurricane makes its way towards the island tonight.